Okay, our very first step is we want to export from scene into the Autodesk Point Cloud format. So we right click, export project to RCP, which is the native Autodesk format. Once that conversion process is complete, we can insert our Point Cloud using Point Sense. And we're going to insert it with native units or meters that were collected from the scanner and scale it to inches so we can work in feet and inches. So here we have our point cloud in the drawing and we can crop it down if we like using some of these sectioning tools in uh, the point sense ribbon. So we'll be working with this raw data but in addition we'll also be using this high resolution point of view as well called VirtuServe. And VirtuServe creates this image view for each setup where the scanner was in the field. And basically we can connect this view to AutoCAD's command prompt. So as we click on the photograph it's going to relay that coordinate to AutoCAD's command prompt. So here I have a 3D polyline active, and you notice as I'm clicking in the VirtuServe view, uh, line work is being sent over to the AutoCAD environment. So one of the most common things we need in points in building is a floor plan. To do that, I'm going to first create a slice through the body of the building, and now I'm going to shift the slice up the XY plane until I get a nice clean um, plan view and once I'm happy with that I'm going to save this section in my section manager in point sense this allows me to save it in the drawing and not have to recreate it every time so I'll just save this floor plan slice so I can always come back to it now we're going to start what's called fit outline plan and what that does is it's going to extract line work for us from the point cloud so it's a semi-automated routine uh, the user clicks two points in the direction they want to go. You can skip over congestion or gaps in data. And the yellow area is the area where it's searching for points, and that's adjustable. And then basically within that area, it finds points and plots a best fit line. So here we'll close this out, and you can see that our first room is drawn. Now there's a few different ways to use fit outline plan. You can do it with the raw data way, or in this case, we'll use VirtuServe. So instead of clicking on the point cloud directly, I'll click two points on each wall in VirtuServe. And I'm skipping over the corners just like I did uh, in my previous demonstration of fit outline plan. And what you can see now is I've got the room drawn here as well. So a last method that we can use for fit outline plan for drawing floor plans is using what's called scan navigation. These spheres that I just created uh, represent the scanner's position each time it was set up in the field. And we can jump into that position, and that's called scan nav view. Now within scan navigation view, I've got a split screen where my floor plan view is on the right side. I'm going to use fit outline plan just like I did from VirtuServe, but now it's 100% running inside of AutoCAD. And I click two points on each wall face, skipping over the corners and you can see that the line work is being uh, dropped in on the right side. So here I'll put one more line on the back. And now once you have your outline plan, you're ready to insert doors and windows, which is what we'll do next. So I'm going to go into the <coughs> insert door routine and change my door type because this is a double swing door. And I'm going to feed it some dimensions as well. First step is to tell it what room we're going to use or what wall. Second step is to click one point on each side of the reveal. So there's one, here's two, now you see the doors appear. And now we need to feed it a height. So one point on the floor and one point at the top of the door. And we can see that the dimensions are entered as well. So our next step to put in a window, let's say. Similar interfaces to doors. You can choose your options, window types. You can even use your own blocks. But first we need to choose the wall line. Now I'm going to click on the outside wall and then once on the inside wall, and that's going to give it my wall thickness. Now I'm going to click two points on the reveal like I did with the door. So one here and another here, but I'll use VirtuServe because it's a little easier. And then one point on the frame, and you can see the window has been inserted in the floor plan. If we have a recess, uh, we can use the recess command. It's pretty simple. You choose the wall line. And then you choose one point on each side of the reveal, and you give it the depth. And you can see that the wall line's adjusted. If you have room heights that you want to insert, it's pretty simple as well. Click a point on the floor, point on the ceiling, and you can 
now see that the room heights are labeled. So do this one more time. Point on the floor, point on the ceiling. And we'll see over here that the room heights entered. If you're in an office building situation and you've got a ceiling grid that you need to draw for drop ceilings or reflected ceiling plans, it's pretty simple. The first thing you need is your room outline. Um, the second is uh, you can use this uh, draw grid routine. So in the draw grid routine, there's a number of options, but if you already know the size of the tiles, you can type them in. Um, if you don't know them, you can uh, click them out of the point cloud if you like. Here we'll say OK. And we're going to select our room. And in this case, we're going to choose a reference line or starting point, And it will automatically flood the room with the tiles for us. Plane fitting is a very useful tool in point sense building in general. And there's a few ways to do it. First one is just to click, uh, use the fit plane routine and choose a section. You notice I'm staying on the same plane. It'll grab all the points within that region and do a best fit plane for me. Another way we can fit a plane is use this one click plane option. So if you just want to be very fast, you can click once and it will determine a plane for you. And a third way to plot a plane or best fit a plane is to use what we call the automatic rim tool. And what this tries to do is search out to the extents of the point cloud um, with the best fit plane. So you can see it traced out the extents it could find. Lastly is this uh, fit point by clicking points, and this is simply just choosing a series of coordinates, and it's going to use all those coordinates to create a best fit plane for you. So now we have all these planes, what can we do with them? And they really can be used for a number of things in the product. Um, most of the time we use it for determining edges and corners, or setting up a custom coordinate system in case we need to draw up an elevation plan. But here if we want to determine an edge between the, the wall and the floor, it's pretty simple, we just determine edge or if we want to determine intersection lines between three planes, we can just choose three planes instead. You can see that the three lines are drawn. I'll do that one more time now for the ceiling as well. Or if you just need a specific corner point, you need to be very precise, you can use the intersection point routine here. And it's the same thing. You choose the three planes, hit enter, and let me change my point mode in AutoCAD, so now you can see the point is represented by that X in the corner. If you need to create a to scale image of the point cloud, you can use the ortho image tool. And ortho images are pretty useful for a number of reasons, uh, whether you want to trace out elevation drawings, uh, or you need the point cloud to look a little bit nicer, because point clouds oftentimes have gaps in data and holes, and the ortho image is going to fill in those gaps for you. Uh, you can also send the ortho image to people who are not able to handle point clouds, or uh, you just need to reduce file size. Here you can see it to scale photograph from the point cloud, and it's measurable. If you need to create um, elevation slices from the building, uh, you can do that with a single slice routine, or you can multi-slice through any object along a path or along a UCS, it's pretty simple. In this case, I'll make multiple slices through this building and along a specific UCS plane. And if I isolate one of those sections, you can see the uh, nice cross-section view through the building. And then you could uh, create a, a UCS directly from this slice and start either manually tracing or, again, using fit outline plan to extract the line work for you. So here we use fit outline plan just like we did from the floor plan view and we'll draw uh, through our section plane. Close this out and you can take a look at it. If you need to determine the deformation of a wall or floor, um, we, we have deformation analysis tools built in with the plane analysis. So here what we're going to do is run a deformation analysis on this wall to determine how much it's leaning. So basically we set up a perfect plane first uh, on the wall, and the plane is perfectly perpendicular to the world coordinate system. Now what we're going to do is compare the perfect plane on the wall to the, to the points in the point cloud, and that will give us an idea of how much the wall is leaning. 
So what I'm going to do is bring in the new point cloud that we generated, the deformation point cloud. I'm going to bring that back into the drawing here. And it looks like the same cloud, but when we click on it, we can change the view to intensity, and this will allow us to visualize the deformation. So now you can see the different colors. And so that we know what these colors represent, and if the wall is bending in or out, we can insert this legend from our section manager 